Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology. My name is Navjot Singh Jadeja. I'm your facilitator. And we are continuing where we left off in the earlier video, which is on the database management system. So we have seen what is DBMS. Now we are going to compare how DBMS is advantageous, how it is better over the conventional file system. So in order to begin that, we have to understand what the conventional file system approach is. So in a typical file processing system, each and every subsystem of the information system will have its own set of files. So just like you open your C drive and see the programming and uh, operating system files, that's the typical file processing system approach. In a typical file oriented system, where it is supported by conventional operating system. So as I said, you know, it's basically something where we create files, store it into folders and in a different way. And permanent records are stored in various files and a number of different application programs are written to extract records from and add records to the appropriate files. Just like you know that in a conventional file system, we have the word files. So for that, we have the word processing system. For Excel, we have an Excel and according to different files, we have different file, uh, you know, editing and up, uh, appending systems. So this actually has a lot of issues. And what are those issues which are actually overcome in the database? This is what we are going to discuss now. So what are the advantages of DBMS over file system? First of all, it reduces the redundancy. Redundancy means duplication of data. Redundancy means same files existing in the system at different place, taking up a lot of space in the memory. So basically the major difficulty which many applications uses their own special files, right? So for example, address and phone number of a particular customer may appear in a file that consists of personal information and also in the saving account. So this actually leads to higher storage and this storage in the current scenario is actually very costly because if you find out memory storage is one of the costliest uh, you know, components in the computer system. So this is actually an issue in the file system which is reduced in the DBMS because we don't have the redundancy there. So database system can actually eliminate data redundancy because it's the same application which you know talks with all types of data you know it's all applications share a common pool of data so that is something which is very helpful also the next thing is because it is stored at different places it can create inconsistency because sometimes same information is stored at multiple files and this data is not updated properly then it can lead into inconsistent data, right? For example, a customer's address may be reflected in personal information file, but it is not updated in the savings account file. As a result, it can actually be creating inconsistency, which can be avoided by the DBMS. Next up is reduce programming effort. Why? Because we are working in the same platform this reason is the reason that you know when we are talking about dbms it would reduce a lot of effort because a new application program often requires an entirely new set of file definitions which is not in the dbms case so it reduces the programming effort next is as a result the programmer have to recode the definitions needed for the data items from the existing file as well as definitions from the all new data items so that actually creates a lot of programming effort when we are talking about the file system but in dbms this can be handled by administrator in a very simple way also in the file oriented system there are heavy interdependence between the programs and the data hence changing them is a very tedious task which is reduced in the dbms to a simpler easier effort based task next up is we have to talk about data security when it comes to file system security is a big issue because not every user uh, should be allowed to able you know access all the data but we cannot enforce those restrictions in the file system easily for example in a banking system 
payroll personnel need only the information about various bank employees they do not need access to the customer accounts but while system does not have those security measures then they can also access data which they are not supposed to since in the file system application programs are added to the system in ad hoc manner it is difficult to enforce security which is not the case in dbms dbms has you know different constraint different different access uh, constraints which can be applied which will be seeing in the further videos also so dbms is very much secure compared to conventional file system next up is improved data integrity because the data values stored in the database must satisfy certain types of consistency constraints again as i said the database comes in with lot of constraints so if those constraints are properly enforced then the values are very much integrated they are trustable for example the balance of a bank account may never fall below a particular amount we all have those limits in the bank account or even the credit card in the file system this constraints are enforced by adding appropriate code in various application programs which might work which might not work or also may generate lot of issues so that thing is actually very well handled in the uh, you know database so a centralized control of the data helps in permitting the administrator to define integrity constraints to the data in the database so that's an advantage which dbms again has in terms of data integrity and you know when we summarize those thing dbms has a whole lot of advantage over file system which is reduced redundancy reduce in this inconsistency very less programming effort compared to file system better security and a very ensured data integrity so this is what dbms has in terms of advantage over the file system